laptop batteries yeah we've got four of these laptop batteries and today i am going to disassemble this today is the day that we are going to find out how these laptop batteries look inside but before that do you ever wonder why laptop batteries I br are broken oftenly. Well, it has to do how you're using your laptop batteries. I'm going to tell my honest opinion how I use once, two times in a week. I fully discharge my battery and charge it again fully. I did have four laptops and never, but never I did have a problem. I never had a problem with my battery. Oftenly, two times per week, I fully discharge it and charge it my battery. I never leave my battery in my laptop for a month without discharging them or charge it again. Definitely that is a problem. More often users are doing this mistake, leave the battery into the laptop for months and sometimes it's coming into the end and the battery is broken. Just discharge your battery once or two times in a week. Don't be afraid. That keeps my battery very healthy with no problem. I do have a laptop three years now and Never had a problem with my battery again. Then this is my fourth laptop. The proper way, I don't know if it's a proper way to disassemble battery. It's very hard manufacture. Well, here it is. This is very easy to open. And do you know when a battery is broken, it is not working, what is the problem? The problem, it may be, one of the batteries or the board, the charging board. Uh, I have opened many laptop batteries and I found out that more common problem it is the board. The board has the problem. Many times the batteries are perfect, are, are working perfect. And in about 50 batteries that I opened until now, 10 of the laptop batteries, the problem was only one battery from these six. All the other laptop batteries, the problem was the charging board. Well, that laptop battery has opened very easy. That's very nice. That's be careful how you open. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. And be careful how you disassemble these batteries. They do have some power. Be aware for any sort of circuit. The two batteries was open very easy and we have Hermes uh, about uh, six of these batteries. Well, this is a smaller and will be more difficult. To open this battery it will be more easy to open it from the charging board because you don't need anymore the charging board and because you don't want to hurt the batteries. The charging board is the first and is more close here and you need to put your screwdriver to open. And that was the third battery, we've got another one. Of course, again, if you're opening a battery, you need to be careful because some of the batteries, they've got some power inside and you may see some sparkles when you're opening with uh, that aggressive way. Well, let's see, and this one...
And here we are, we got 24 batteries of that 1865. Well, let's clean the space and we are going to see which of these batteries are working. And here we are, I'm going to test it one by one. Well, that was all about it, and I did find two cells that is dead, zero volt. I'm going to charge all the batteries, and we're going to see if they're going to 100% fully charge it. And I'm going to charge them with this uh, night core. Let's start with these two batteries that have got a problem. Error both of them that batteries are dead. Now let's start with the other one. Batteries. Oh, I will use the same. And all of the batteries are charging. I have fully charged all the batteries. Now I'm trying to charge the two batteries that are getting error from the beginning and now they say it's not a lithium. That means the batteries are dead, they've got problem. Don't waste any time to charge these batteries. Well, let's see how much of both they've got these batteries are already charged. Well, I think we have a great volts about these batteries. It uh, is about uh, 4 volts to 4.18. Most of the batteries are 4.17. I think it's a great measurement of the volts. Uh, let me say that I have charged these batteries uh, two to three days before, and I think they are good for a, some DIY project. And with all that guys, this is in the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Like or dislike my video is your choice. Subscribe, share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more projects in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.